Hi, my name is Paul Gilbert. I'm a clinical psychologist and also president of the Compassionate Mind Foundation, which is an international charity to study compassion, the science of compassion, and how to apply compassion to many problems in the world. So we have compassion-focused therapy, and we've also been bringing compassion into schools. What's really fascinating and exciting is that all over the world, actually, people are beginning to think about how do we bring compassionate solutions to the world's problems? Now, a few years ago, I wrote a book called Living Like Crazy, which addressed some of the difficulties that we have in our society today. Some of these difficulties are to do with the fact that since the advent of agriculture, we've been able to create wealth. And when we created wealth, we also created intense competitiveness and intense tribalism. And those two are at the root of a lot of our difficulties. So we need compassionate solutions to help us find ways of bringing social justice to the world, fairness to the world, and ways of addressing the immense suffering that exists in the world in terms of poverty. And of course, we also have to address climate change. I wrote a paper, however, looking at some of the challenges to bringing and creating a compassionate world. And there are quite a few, I'm afraid. But what is delightful and what is very inspiring is that, as I say, all around the world now, there are many, many individuals who are thinking and working in creative ways of bringing compassion into their areas of influence. So we have people who are working compassion in politics, compassion in business, compassionate solutions to climate change, compassionate solutions to things like how do we distribute vaccines all around the world? What is needed for us to do that? So it's a great pleasure and delight for me to be able to introduce a series of interviews by people from all over, as you'll see, all over the world, uh, uh, talking about the challenges and the opportunities of understanding what compassion actually is, okay, because it's not weak or soft, it's one of the most courageous and wise of all our motives, actually, when you think about it, because it's designed to address suffering, and how they are thinking about compassion in their own areas of influence and work. So that's the point of these interviews.